Greetings. It's September 1st, 1 a.m., and I had a chance to go back and look at the NRC data for infrared uh, August 31st at 10.39 p.m. So uh, I thought I'd just run these screens and you can take a look at them. And I've indicated the perimeter on this first map, but that's a very loose uh, graphic just to show where they're perceiving a connection between all the outlying infrared. I'm leaving the 24-hour screens all on, and this will give you an opportunity to see proximity to different areas. We're looking uh, Watch Lakes at center of the screen. Now we're moving south, southwest of Green Lake, and you'll notice this system is showing us a lot fewer infrared. I'm only seeing one north of Hutchinson and five on the southern slope of Tin Cup Mountain, and you can see the configuration around Jim Lake at the top of the hill. I'd like to zoom into Jim Lake and show you something here. There's two infrared hotspots displaying in the center of the lake. What it does demonstrate is how far off these infrared can be. So now let's take a look at what's indicated next to Watch Lake. This is on the eastern shore. And we've got Little Green Lake Road, uh, one showing there, and one showing about a third of the way down Kazoo Road. And I realize I'm going very fast. Uh, please pause these screens if you require. And there is a scale in the lower portion right of the picture. Now we're going to take a look uh, southeast of Green Lake and I'm seeing significantly less infrared than what we'd see on the Google KML bundle linked below. But it gives you an indication of how this system is perceiving where heat is and where the most activity is. Approximately two kilometers from the shore of Green Lake and a kilometer from Nolan Lake. We're going to take a look at Sheridan now, and first off, I'd like to draw your attention south of the lake. It's around uh, Porter Lake and the Sheridan West FSR. I'm seeing five indications, and that's the furthest east movement I've seen. And it's probably within a kilometer from the Rayfield. And on the northeastern flank, it looks like it's come all the way to Sheridan West Road. And if you will look on the left-hand side of this map towards Jack Frost Lake there, we see a lot of this patterning, this uh, controlled uh, IFR. We can see pockets of random activity within. So let's take a look at an overview of the northern flank and we're seeing all 24 hours, 12 hours, 6 hour periods indicated at this time. So there's not a lot of movement. I am seeing about half a dozen outlying IFR hotspots. Also, if you look just below center of your screen at Young Lake, there's no infrared showing at this time. Now, it may be obscured by cloud cover. Uh, there may be technical issues, but I doubt it. I think it's just that the spots are so old, they are reduced in heat and they're being suppressed. And that's uh, kudos to the crews out there. Uh, Young Lake is looking clear in this infrared. Now, I can almost guarantee we will see infrared being displayed in the other Google system, the VIIRS, but it's a positive and it's showing an indication of cooling in that area. Now let's take a quick look at the 6 and 12 hour maps. See all this random activity that's uh, flare ups within the fire perimeter in this northern flank. And now we're going to the 6 hour activity and there isn't anything. So either the satellite was finished its cycle and it's not picking up anything more or there's just no new infrared hotspots. It's showing that situation is currently holding and we are just looking at one system. Uh, all the data has to be verified by multiple sources. That's why uh, the links are below. Uh, please do check those out and check with the regional sites to find out uh, where all the evacuation orders and alerts are. Let's go over to Windy and just see 
in the center of the perimeter we've got four kilometers coming almost directly from the south and if we look at the forecast it should stay below 10 kilometers an hour until Saturday uh, that three o'clock breeze and primarily from the south showing some variation as this general movement or this arc of air keeps going up and down uh, over the Elephant Hill area. So I hope this was helpful. This is uh, the NRC's data and you can find uh, their interactive map on the links below. It uh, is a different system and shows us a little different perspective on what's going on and make sure that if you get a chance take take the time out of your day to thank all the people involved, the support crews, the uh, BC wildfire people, uh, the RCMP, and all your civic and regional people. They've been working really, really hard, and we want to help them finish this enormous task. Be safe, everyone, and I'll be back uh, when I get new information. Thank you.